happy Tuesday. Dr. Warren here with Apex Spine Joint Wellness in Fayetteville, Arkansas. I want to share an interesting case uh, with you. Um, a case that many chiropractors would turn away, many people would think needs surgery, um, or many chiropractors may do the wrong treatment on um, that was essential for this patient. Okay, So patient comes in, let me give you a little bit of a background. She comes in excruciating, crying, pain, throwing up, the pain is so severe. Um, she's not able to stand up straight. Um, she cannot cough, sneeze, or go to the bathroom um, without having extreme lumbar pain. Um, she can't fully put weight on her legs. All this is telling me in her examination that he, she has some sort of severe disc issue, an acute disc herniation, uh, or something of that nature. So we proceeded to take radiographs of this patient, uh, lumbar, lumbopelvic, uh, AP and lateral shot. Uh, upon viewing uh, the lateral film, what we noticed with this patient was, oh, let me zoom in here, uh, is, so this is looking at the lumbar, si uh, uh, lumbar spine from the side. We use this shot to evaluate uh, not only alignment, but the uh, condition of the facet joints on the back, see if they're arthritic, um, to see how big these intervertebral foramen are, to see if we have any disc narrowing, uh, to make sure, of course, there's no pathology um, in the area. And what we notice with this patient is a couple interesting things. Number one is this disc space is about half the size of what it typically should be. And this is a young female, okay? We all get some disc degeneration, some arthrit arthritis over life, normal aging and wear and tear of the spine. However, for her age and what she does and no previous trauma, um, this tells us that this disc has really had some wear and tear on it. So then we start looking at the joints uh, around the spine and look for signs that may cause this disc uh, to wear unevenly and much faster. This patient didn't have any uh, trauma, repetitive, um, postural stress, um, hard manual labor, forward flexing work, or anything that indicated to me that this disc would be wearing out faster than the rest of these because the rest of the spine, other than some facet arthrosis, looked actually pretty good. And so as we examine this further, and what you see is, see all these joints are interconnected, 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 all right? These limit how far back you can extend. If we didn't have these joints right here, and when you went backwards, you would literally just collapse in half. It's, it's what stops that. So if you have extension type pain where you lean back and right on top of your butt, you feel pain, that's gonna be from these joints right here, okay? And as we follow this down, we notice there's no connection between here and here. So then we inquired with the patient about any trauma to the back, none ever. No pain like this ever in her life. So that tells us this, this has probably been stable over life and it's now to the point where she's aggravated it. And what this is, is a defect in this joint here. And it looks like what's called agenesis where it was never actually formed when she was in utero, meaning inside of her mother. So um, after we saw this, this dictates between her signs and her symptoms the examination and these radiographs on what the, pro, the, the, the best course of care is um, to get this patient better, okay? And let me show you a little bit more. I'm a visual person on what this problem is and how um, it works and how this causes disc issues like that. Now, she doesn't exactly have this because everything's lined up, but when these things aren't there, okay, we'll see these joints here disappear in just a minute. So like her, we don't have a connection here, and so this disc can get quite aggravated because of the connection between here and here and this not holding this properly. So this disc can get really aggravated, okay? So we opted for two treatments with her, all right? Which one were quick, yielded results really fast, number two, and number three was affordable. I tell everybody, I want to get you better as fast as possible, as efficiently as possible, and affordably as possible. We want to put people on these long, egregious plans that people can't afford, all right? Which is why um, our practice has been wildly successful in the past, okay? Um, because we treat people that way. Now, 
Most chiropractors, okay, and I don't, I don't mind throwing them under the bus. Most chiropractors would have done these this incorrectly, okay? Sometimes this, chiro- this patient would have went into a chiropractic office and they wouldn't have taken any x-rays. Had we put this patient up on her side and did a classic side posture crunch, a gy- type adjustment, that could have made the patient worse. It could uh, have taken that bone and slid it into the spinal cord. Could have caused damage. Could have furthered the numbness in her legs. It is essential that the proper examination and possibly x-rays are done and then the treatment of care is based on those uh, findings. So we opted to do two different treatments. Um, I started doing this in Northwest Arkansas combined um, years and years ago um, and it was wildly successful up in Pinnacle Hills and now I brought it down here to Fayetteville. Okay, We used decompression. All right, We have to do this very carefully, very precisely and very specific for her condition because we're missing some joints down there. Okay, And what this machine does is it hooks you up. We set a certain weight, angle and parameter. Okay. Um, this traction's down, the top half of your body's held, and these spots that are smaller, and maybe the disc is sticking out the back, hitting a nerve or the spinal cord, depending on if it's lateral or medial bulged out, um, we can get some sucking of the disc back in, all right, using the phenomenon of negative pressure. It's quite simple. It's kind of like if you squeeze a tube, a toothpaste out, okay, toothpaste comes out, but when you let off, a little bit gets sucked back in from that negative pressure. You have positive pressure pushing out and negative pressure. So we just use that real simple phenomenon very scientifically uh, to use negative pressure to get that, that sucked back in. All right. Um, and there's two ways to get rid of that. You can cut it out with surgery or we can suck it back in All right, uh, and have the body uh, give it some other modalities to help it heal itself as well as some stabilizing corrective physical therapy uh, to make sure that this problem doesn't become repetitive in nature. Okay, so that was um, treatment number one. Treatment number two we added was called what is known as the stem cell machine. Now, before I get into that, there is many, many treatments that people talk about as being shockwave, okay, or um, the stem cell um, machine. There is only one original machine that has the patents, the research, and the FDA clearance, and that's the machine that we have here. Okay, I was the second one in all of Arkansas to bring it in, and there's not one at all down here in southern part of northwest Arkansas. We're the only ones with this machine, okay? It's called Softwave Tissue Regeneration Technology, also known as the stem cell machine. So this is like a torn rotator cuff. Different problem, but the example is the same. The machine sends the signal in, the body thinks it's being acutely injured. It's not. We're not causing any micro trauma or inju- injury, as many, many of these machines are. Research shows that we get a 300% permanent blood supply increase to the area. Blood brings a lot of healing. We get growth factors, healing cells, some good inflammation, and your own body's endogenous stem cells to rush to the area to help repair this. It also can regenerate tissue. All right. It has been su- scientifically studied. Uh, it's not a thought. It's a fact. Um, and we can get true healing in areas of damage and tissue tissue damage. It has a patent for peripheral nerve elongation and peripheral nerve regeneration, uh, as well as many other things. Um, Pretty much every professional sports team at high levels have it, the Cowboys have it, my UFC uh, clients and fighters have it at the Performance Institute in Vegas. Um, It's all throughout professional football and uh, baseball, Um, it's just not really well known uh, in this setting. Heart surgeons use it to close up invasive wounds after surgery um, and it's now making its way into chiropractic offices and uh, more of pain model type clinics. Um, So the combination of those two therapies uh, yielded incredible results. Uh, After her third visit, she walked in normal, happy smile on her face, less than a week later, all right? We want to save people from surgery. A lot of people probably would have sent her immediately for a surgical consult. So we did what's called a small trial of care to where we, where, where we do a few visits to see if we're going to get results before we talk about doing any more in, in extreme cases like that. She's doing incredibly well. She's almost 100% better, and that's not even been two weeks. Okay. So the purpose of this video is to, one, educate you on some common things that we see, show you 
what how, how important it is that proper treatments are done when you go to a chiropractic clinic based on your condition, not the same thing that they do to everybody. And to know that when you have an issue like that, there is a place with answers here in Northwest Arkansas and that's Apex Spine Joint and Wellness. So I love doing these types of videos. I did a lot of them at my last practice. Look forward to sharing some more case study type videos with you guys. And any uh, comments or questions, share them below. We'd be happy to answer them. Have a great rest of your week.